Heather, the chairperson for the Sierra Club Seal Society, says because we made them aware of the repairs that are needed at this sea, while they're going to ask the city to hold off on any repairs until after the pupping season. I want to step out of the way so you can get a firsthand look at this damage on the sea wall. It's at the very end. It might be hard to see with the illusion, but the fence that is facing the seawall, that one was damaged in the most recent storms. The damage was caused by last week's king tides. Check out these magnificent images captured by local photographers. Pictures of the roaring waves crashing over the seawall. They were posted on Near Me on the CBS 8 app. You can see the railing is still there, and when you see it today from Chopper 8, that protective fencing is gone. I reported the damage yesterday when I saw it on the city's Get It Done app and asked the city about it. Today, we saw city crews out on on the sea while taking a closer look at the damage. The city tells me that staff from the Parks and Recreation Department examined the children's pool seawall and discovered a section of the railing to be missing. Preparation for repairs is now underway, but it is not known when they will be completed. Children's pool is closed for seal popping season. Seals will give birth starting at the end of January, and the season ends in May. That's when the children's pool will reopen. The chairperson for the San Diego Sierra Club Seal Society says that they hope the city will hold off on any repairs. We believe that there should always be access to the seawall uh, when it's considered safe for people to be on it, as well as for uh, the seals as well. What we are hoping for is that the city would delay any kind of repairs until after the pupping season. The seals are struggling this year against environmental factors, so any kind of repairs would actually interfere with their reproduction cycle. Last year, when a safety railing was knocked down in a storm, the city waited to replace it after a pupping season. The city says that currently the seawall has been closed due to weather-related damages. Now, these, this seawall is historic. It was built in 1931. That's nearly 100 years ago by Ellen Browning Scripps, whose goal was to make to free up the shoreline for children and the seals who were here long before the seawall. Heather and Carlo. Abby, you mentioned the seawall's been there a long time. It was built a century ago. It's taken a beating over the years. Do we have any idea what kind of shape the wall is really in overall? Well, I found a report that was published in 2022 by a private engineering firm, and they found the cost to repair this seawall, and this is just kind of minor repairs, it would cost $2.3 million. I'm still waiting to hear back from the city that if they do make these repairs, when that would happen. Working for you, I'm Abby Black, CBS 8. Abby, we could just take a moment and enjoy that picture behind you. I mean, <laughs> talk about gorgeous. I'm telling you, not a bad corner office today. I've been <laughs> bragging to all of my friends and family that do not live here. And it's just been wonderful to see all of our visitors here just taking it all in. I'm like, ah, you got to pitch yourself sometimes that you think I live here and I work here. Yeah, yeah. a dream come true. Good Abby reminder Black. right there. Good Gorgeous reminder.